What's up everyone, it's Ryan Share here with another preview video of Dex3. Um, I'm going to quickly show you some of the browser naviga navigation options. Um, notably, how to set folders from Explorer as favorites, so they're nested as groups on the browser or the navigation section of the browser here on the left side. So as you can see, we've applied icons now to all your lists. So they're easier to identify visually and quickly. So if I want to nest a folder from Explorer as a favorited group, and uh, this is one of the fundamental differences between the previous Dex2 browser and Dex3, is that when you nest a folder as a favorite, it's still dynamic in that it's directly looking at the folder on your drive uh, for any changes, uh, any new files you may be added to it, that kind of thing on startup will automatically be recognized and the software now reads tags in favorited lists um, which was a highly requested item so I'll quickly show you how you do that and if you notice we've also uh, you can see it depending on what uh, where your mouse focus is within the program uh, you will get slide bars now that are kind of transparent over top of the uh, list sections here, so we're going to scroll down, and you can also use your mouse to kind of flick it up and down to quickly navigate through the left side, or use a scroll bar, or use your keyboard, up and down arrow keys, the end and home will go to top and bottom, subsequently, end all the way at the bottom of the list, home to the top, page up, we'll go one page at a time, so you can quickly jump through a list, as well. So we'll go down here to our Explorer view. And I'll navigate to one of my music folders. Of course, this is also my work PC, so it's probably not as organized as one would like. stuff is there we go and tunes so tunes is my main test folder here and we're just going to add to favorites so you right click the folder add to favorites it's also expanding it and compressing it so we'll go up here press the Explorer view once you've set your folder as a favorite. So you'll see now under favorites, indicated by the little heart icon, you'll have tunes. If I was to click it, it would show me all my subfolders, click on any of those, and it will read instantly and display tag information within any of these groups. As easy as that. And what we've also done, depending on what your sort is within the library, what, what you've sorted by, and to sort, oh, and by the way, here's your new scroll bar there too. As you can see, it disappears depending on where my mouse cursor focus is. Uh, if I want to sort by any tag, particular tag, you click the sort button, and I choose the sort option. If I choose BPM, well, of course, I've selected a group, there we go, with BPMs. Select again, we'll sort up. So it highlights whatever you've decided to sort by. So if it's by the song title, title sorts. So it easily, it gives you a visual reference point. Uh, a lot easier to just look down and see the track title if that's what you're sorting by, because it's going to be highlighted in this nice bluish color. Um, and then to navigate through any list, I'll just throw a couple songs over in the new side list. You can just double click songs and it will pop over there. So if I want to navigate now using my keyboard, you do have the scroll bars. And of course a controller will allow you to quickly scroll through lists. Uh, any of the native controllers we've pre-mapped will have that functionality. Otherwise you can use your keyboard arrows up and down. You can hold down the arrows and 
quickly scroll through left and right arrows so you can scroll down and up the lists and just using arrow keys end does the same thing it'll go to the end of the list home to the top page down we'll page down at a time so the keyboard commands give you a quicker way to quickly navigate without having to grab your mouse and scroll through any given list I think I have a bunch of songs in the database so I can show you how quickly it'll scroll here so that's just by holding down the arrow down of course these are all samples that I have here at the top of my list so that's quick and then page up you hold that down and it'll go really fast through the list home will go all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom and that's it now next time around I'm going to focus a little bit more on uh, special lists we actually the history now uh, will have a running it's a running log but it will be date stamped so you'll be able to go back to a particular date and view that events uh, tracks on that specific date user lists uh, new icon there as well little person's head uh, where you can create your own playlist you right click new playlist drag songs into it to create it of course you can send which is pretty cool any of your user lists that you may have created I think I dropped a couple in here if I clear out the waitlist you don't necessarily have to do that it would just depend to the waitlist if I did this but if you created a list before high end you get to your gig you want to go ahead and send that to your uh, waitlist for auto mix or just to play through throughout the evening you can right click and send send all to side list it will send everything within the selected list over to the side list uh, waitlist area iTunes self-explanatory those are all your iTunes playlists from iTunes and that's about it uh, database still works you can still use that as a master list if you want or not anytime you browse a folder or add as a favorite it's automatically added to the search cache so using a database is not necessary although some may still want to have a large master list of their entire collection to browse so that's it for today Next time I'm going to focus a little bit more on some of the new transport control area um, controls as well as the FX grid and new sampler. Uh, but until next time, enjoy.